Welcome to our lesson about closed corners. What the closed corner feature does is add material between sheet metal features. Here in my graphic area, I've got two edge flanges. I'd like to fill the gap between these flanges. Let's click on the Corners submenu arrow. Scroll down and select Closed Corner. First, we select the faces to extend. Since auto propagation is checked, SolidWorks will select the faces to match. Let's see how it works. I'm going to select this face. SolidWorks automatically selected the matching face. Let's right click and clear that selection. Now let's uncheck auto propagation. Select this face again. Now I need to select the faces to match manually. Under corner type, the first option is but. The but option is when the corners don't overlap. The second option is overlap. Let's see the preview. The third option is underlap. Underlap and overlap do the opposite, basically. When the but option is selected, we can specify only the gap distance between the edges. When the overlap or underlap options are selected, we can specify the gap distance and the overlap and underlap ratios. If zero is our ratio value, there will be no overlap. A one ratio will mean a full overlap. Let's take a look at how the open Ben region option works. Let's check this checkbox. In our case, the open Ben region is this area right here. Let's uncheck this option and click OK. And you see the bend region is filled. Let's edit our closed corner. Right click Edit Feature. Now let's check the open bend region box and click OK. And as you see now the bend region is left open. Let's take a look at the next option, Coplanar Faces. This option lets us select coplanar faces automatically. I don't have any coplanar faces in this model, hence no automatic selection was made. The narrow corner option uses an algorithm for larger bend radii to narrow the gap in the bend area. Let's click OK now. And let's edit the bend flange feature. I want to adjust the angle a little bit. Let's say change it to 70 degrees. And click OK. As you see, the closed corner feature adjusted accordingly. And this concludes our lesson about the closed corner.